Hello everyone and welcome to online story time. Today's theme is Hanukkah because today at sunset begins the Jewish festival of lights known as Hanukkah. And um, since it's starting tonight, we decided to do a story time to celebrate it. And first what we're gonna do is talk about what Hanukkah is and tell you the story of Hanukkah. Um, so if you celebrate it, you might know the story already. And if you don't, then you're going to learn just a little bit about it today. So um, I'm gonna read you a little bit about the story, just a short bit. Um, Hanukkah is, like I said, the Jewish festival of lights. It's a holiday that commemorates the victory over the Greek army in 145 BC, when the temple in Jerusalem was restored to Jewish worship. According to tradition, there was only enough sanctified oil to light the temple menorah for one day. The oil miraculously burned for eight days, long enough for more oil to be brought to Jerusalem. Since then, oil and light have been part of celebrating Hanukkah. The nine-branch Hanukkah lamp, or what um, is called the menorah, is lit each night, beginning with one candle and ending with eight. And then they cook foods in oil, like um, potato pancakes, known as latkes, and jelly donuts, um, to commemorate the use of the oil, and they're very tasty. Um, and they play games uh, as well with things like dreidels, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, to celebrate Hanukkah and they also give gifts just like we do it for Christmas. So um, we're gonna have some fun stories and have a good time today. So I hope you are super excited and ready. So we'll jump right in and our first story is called Hanukkah Bear. You see the Hanukkah Bear there? Old Bear awoke from his winter sleep, he poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Baba Brenya took the last potato latke from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Baba Brenya was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to, but she still made the best potato latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house on the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Baba Brenya always made plenty, but tonight she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight the rabbi was coming. Baba Brenya hurried to get ready. Just then she heard a thump on the door. She opened it. Rabbi! You're here early. How nice to see you. Rumpf, growled old bear. Happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. <gasps> Uh-oh. She thinks the old bear is the rabbi. Because remember, she's very old and she doesn't see or hear very well. Old bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, rabbi. My, how thick it is. Baba Brenya tugged at old bear's fur. Old Bear roared. Arr! Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is chilly in here. Old Bear's nose twitched. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. Arr! Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we light the menorah. Arr! That's all right. I know you are teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessings? Urf. Abba Brenya struck the match and lit the shaman's candle. Then she lit the one for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled. Urf. Urf. Who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season? Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessings so beautifully. Baba Brenya sat down at the table and Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one with his teeth. Rabbi, you, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. Grrr, growled Bear. Don't worry, I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Baba Brenya spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimel. I win. Baba Brenya swept the nuts into her apron. Rawr, Old Bear roared. He didn't like that she won all the nuts. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. She tossed him a nut. Old Bear begged for more. No, Rabbi, no more nuts. It's time for dinner. 
Papa Brunya opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Bubba Brunya asked. Rawr, old Bear growled. Jam, I thought so. Bubba Brunya smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them down. Bubba Brunya laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. Rawr! I'm hungry like a bear, so I eat like one. I can see that, Bubba Brunya said. Old Bear ate and ate until the latkes were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Bubba Brunya's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? All the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Bubba Brenya took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. Her Old Bear licked Bubba Brenya's face. Bubba Brenya blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age? Old Bear shuffled to the door. Ruff, he growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Baba Brenya was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Baba Brenya. All her friends stood at the door wishing her happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody, Baba Brenya said. How nice to see you. I'm sorry I don't have any more left kiss. The rabbi came by and he ate them all. But Bren Brenya, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue. Baba Brenya rubbed her forehead. Something strange is happening, Rabbi. I think there is an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. Just then the children cried, look at the floor, bear tracks. A bear, and I thought it was the Rabbi. But Baba Brenya had to sit down. Soon she began to giggle. That was a very clever bear, or a very foolish Baba Brenya. Oh, well, let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too, and so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar. Fetch my grater and bowl. Everybody has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato latkes. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, Old Bear, and happy Hanukkah. So even the bear got to have a happy Hanukkah, even though he ate all those potato latkes that were not meant for him. And he got to get a present, too. All right. Let's see. Our next story is called It's Hanukkah. And it's got a little family of rabbits. Let's see what they're up to. It's Hanukkah. The candles are so bright, they shine out into the night. We gather around real close to light, we give a toast. We listen to a tale, our imaginations sail. We all dance the horror, even great grandma Laura. Mama gives us all treats, lovely latkes to eat. The dreidels, they are spinning and everyone is winning. We give each other gifts, our hearts, how they lift. Aunt sings a happy song and everyone joins along. We feel so much cheer, we hug everyone near. We at last go to bed after one more tale is read. We kiss each other goodnight and dream of dancing lights. And they get to do it for seven more nights, not just one. All right, we're going to sing a song together. Can you put your hands up like this, two fists? Are you ready? One little, two little, three little candles, four little, five little, six little candles, seven little, eight little 
candles burning oh so bright. Can you make them burn bright and wiggle them around? Here we go. Okay, let's do it one more time. You put your hands up like this, like two fists. One little, two little, three little candles, four little, five little, six little candles, seven little, eight little pretty little candles burning oh so bright. Make them shine and burn bright. Good job. All right. Okay. Our next story is kind of a story you might know or be familiar with. It's called, I Know No Lady Who Swallowed a Dreidel. Normally she swallows a fly, but in this story she's going to swallow a dreidel. Let's see what happens to her. I bet it would be just as silly. I Know No Lady Who Swallowed a Dreidel. A Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some oil, a pitcher of oil, about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some latkes, five lot plat platters of latkes, hot from the potkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some sauce, some smooth applesauce that she downed in a toss. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed a brisket, a 20 ton brisket she thought she could risk it. She swallowed the brisket to soak in the sauce. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel that she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. See her eating that very giant brisket? One bite at a time. I know an old lady who swallowed some gelt, a mindful of gelt before it could melt. She swallowed the gelt to follow the brisket. She swallowed the brisket to soak in the sauce. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash on the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed a menorah, a monstrous menorah while we danced the horror. She swallowed the menorah that stood near the gelt she swallowed the gelt to follow the brisket. She swallowed the brisket to soak in the sauce. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some candles. Eight skyscraping candles were all she could handle. She swallowed the candles that lit the menorah that stood near the gelt that followed the brisket, that soaked in the sauce, that sweetened the latkes, that fried in the oil, that washed down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it wasn't fatal. All right, we're gonna do a little hand thing with our hands together. Are you ready? It's without lock kiss. Are you? So we're gonna make a circle. Lock kiss, lock kiss. Sizzling in a pan. Flip them, toss them. Catch them if you can. You ready to do that again? Lock kiss, lock kiss. Sizzling in a pan. Flip them, toss them. Catch them if you can. Good job, you guys. That wasn't too hard. All right. We're going to sing this or read this book together, and it's called This is the Dreidel. This is the dreidel Max takes from the drawer when he has placed it in one year before. This is a menorah down from the shelf. Max gets the polish and shines it himself. 
This is the rainbow of candles. We'll choose one for the sham shamash and others we'll, we'll use. This is the sunshine sinking low. Time to start. This is the blessing Max knows by heart over the candles his sisters will choose. Reds and yellows and purples and blues. In the menorah down from the shelf, golden gleaming that Max polished himself. After the dreidel comes out of the drawer where Max had placed it just one year before. These are the windows where candles are bright. There's one for the shamash and one for each night. These are the gifts we give one another, mother, father, and sister, and brother. Max decorated a tall picture frame. Ruth drew the family and spelled out her name. These are the relatives at the door. This is what Max has been waiting for. These are the lot kiss pile on a plate. Max is so hungry, he says he'll eat eight. This is the dreidel Max spins on the floor. He hopes that he doesn't get none anymore. These are the stories we tell about, the oil and the flame that wouldn't go out. Anicus, Judah, the great Maccabee, the temple soiled, the temple made free. These are the songs that we sing to declare that once a great miracle happened there. These are some presents of Hanukkah gelt. Better eat quickly or else they will melt. This is the pushka, and it's good. It's a good deed for Max to give money for people in need. This is the family gathered around, watching the candles like stars burning down. After the stories and songs that declare that once a great miracle happened there, the lot kissed the gelt and the guests at the door. All of the things that Max waited for, the pushka that's filled for it's a good deed to help other people when they are in need. The gifts that the family shared with each other, brothers and sister, father and mother. Goodbye to the candles so brave and so bright. Goodbye to the wonder of Hanukkah lights. This is the dreidel Max puts in this drawer till the eight days of Hanukkah come round once more. The end. All right. We are going to talk about a dreidel our own dreidel. And we're going to sing a song about a dreidel. I bet you know it because it's a pretty famous song. First, I'm going to show you one. This is a dreidel and it kind of looks like a pretty f normal toy that I bet you know it, like a top. And it spins just like a top and you get to play a game with it. And what you do is everybody gets coins that are made of chocolate and they're called gelt. And you play a game and you spin the top, you take a turn and these little symbols they're in a language called Yiddish, and they mean different things. This one is stands for a word called nun. And when you get this symbol, it means that you get to, you can't take anything out of the pot in the middle. Then when you, if you get this symbol, it's called a gimel. And if you get this, you get to take everything out of the pot. So you win, you win everything in the middle. If you get this symbol, it's called hay, and it stands for half. So you get to take half of what's in the middle of the pot. And if you get this symbol, it's shin, and it stands for put in, which means you have to put in some of your own into the middle. So you have to share some of yours. And you play until somebody wins everything, and then you can start all over again. And it's a lot of fun. So we are going to sing a song about our dreidel. Are you ready? i let you know it. So, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I will play. You ready? You sing it again with me? Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I will play. Is that fun? You can sing it on your own now at home. All right, let's read our next story. It's called, How Do Dinosaurs Say Happy Hanukkah? Did you know dinosaurs celebrate Hanukkah? Dinosaurs do lots of fun things. Does a dinosaur act up on Hanukkah nights when mama comes in with the holiday lights? Does he fidget and fuss through the candlelight prayer? Does he blow out the candles when no one is there? Do you see him blowing out the candles? It's not a birthday cake. You're supposed to let them be lit. 
Does he peek at the present stashed under dad's bed? Are you supposed to peek at the presents, do you think? Does he write his own name on each gift card instead? And the very next day, does he grab up the gelt? Remember what we said gelt was? They're coins, but they're made of chocolate, so they're candy. Squeezing the candy coins till they all melt. Does he snatch away dreidels so no one else plays? Does he do this for each of the eight festive days? No, a dinosaur doesn't. He sings every prayer, takes turns with the dreidel, and remembers to share. He eats up his latkes, helps clear away dishes, gives Bubby and Zeta big Hanukkah kisses. Each time he's in bed for eight nights, hear him snore. Happy Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah, you good dinosaur. So he's a good dinosaur and he behaves every night of Hanukkah. Okay. We have one more song to sing together and we're going to sing it to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. But it's called Twinkle, Twinkle, Hanukkah Lights. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, Hanukkah lights shining brightly for eight nights. See the dreidel spin around. Eat some latkes crisp and brown. Twinkle, twinkle, Hanukkah lights shining brightly for eight nights. Let's sing it one more time. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, Hanukkah lights shining brightly for eight nights. See the dreidel spin around. Eat some latkes crisp and brown. Twinkle, twinkle, Hanukkah lights shining brightly for eight nights. Alrighty, everybody. Well, I hope that as the sun's starting to go down, it is officially Hanukkah. So I hope that for those of you that celebrate, you have a wonderful, happy Hanukkah. And for those of you that don't, that you've learned just a little bit about what our Jewish friends are celebrating the next eight nights. And um, you can wish them a happy Hanukkah if you know anybody that is Jewish. Anyway, um, we'll see you next Tuesday for our next story time, which will be classic Christmas stories. And um, we hope that you have a lovely, um, happy evening. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. See you next Tuesday.